Hey guys, um, I'm here to give you a, a tutorial um, due to the fact that a lot of people have been asking me questions on how to get widescreen <coughs> for YouTube videos. Now, I'm going to tell you how to do it like by making your own custom widescreen thing like I did. So, what you do is you got to go to batch production. Don't worry, and then you gotta add uh, a file like uh, I don't know this. Let's just add like it doesn't really matter because you're basically making a new preset. Uh, so you click on Preset Manager, click on New, and call it Wide Screen. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just call it Wide Screen. Okay. And oh, something's wrong here. Make it a mo file. You gotta make it a mo file just to make sure. Okay, now go to QuickTime Options, go to Settings. Um, make sure that the quality is. Whoops, so what's going on here? Okay, make sure the quality is about 74. Um, filter. Yeah, that's good. Size. It's gotta make it okay. I might cancel. All right, and then you gotta make the sound this. And then make this four by three. Not four by three, uh, sixteen by nine. Now, for some reason, it won't let me put my own. Uh... Oh yeah, you go to custom. That's where. Okay, now you go to um, six forty by three sixty. Sorry about that, guys. I kind of was. Alright. Now you got that. Um, uh, the sound? Is that right? Compressor? Pig 4 audio. There we go. Should be good. There you go. It's all set. Then you got to make the custom size again 480 by 360. Now it will put it into widescreen. It's gonna trick um, YouTube into thinking that it's like it, it's just gonna trick YouTube in making it widescreen, even though it doesn't look like it. It actually is. Trust me. Um, then you make the custom size, click finish, and then you got your own uh, thing. Just click f and then do that. But don't worry, just cancel it, and it will automatically be in the preset. And when you save, then, let's see, when you save a video, I don't know, just put a song in here. And then when you were going to save a video, save it on the one we just made once this loads up. Oops, no, got it. Yeah, okay, when you save it, you got to go here, all, and lo look for the one we have, which is widescreen. And kaboom, there we are. And then name it. I don't know. I'm just naming it something random. Click that. And click next. Click finish. And there you go. You're saving your video on widescreen. So there you go. Your questions have been answered. So anyway, uh, till next time, uh, another tutorial will come up later in the future. Anyway. See you next time, guys. Have a good day.